Psalm 107 verse 30. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. I was drifting off into an impromptu nap when it hit me. From the basement, my son ripped a chord on his electric guitar. The walls reverberated. No peace, no quiet, no nap. Moments later, competing music greeted my ears, my daughter playing Amazing Grace on the piano. Normally, I love my son's guitar playing, but in that moment, it jarred and unsettled me. Just as quickly, the familiar notes of John Newton's hymn reminded me that grace thrives amid the chaos. No matter how loud, unwanted, or disorienting the storms of life might be, God's notes of grace ring clear and true, reminding us of his watchful care over us. We see that reality in scripture. In Psalm 107, verses 23 through 32, sailors struggle mightily against a maelstrom that could easily devour them. In their peril, their courage melted away. Still, they didn't despair, but cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. Finally, we read, they were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. In chaotic moments, whether they're life-threatening or merely sleep-threatening, the barrage of noise and fear can storm our souls. But as we trust God and pray to him, we experience the grace of his presence and provision, the haven of his steadfast love. Reflect. When have you experienced God's haven of peace in other people? To whom might you offer similar encouragement? Prayer. Father, help me to remember to call out to you when the waters of life are rising and help me to offer hope to others. Motivational quote. Lead from the heart, not the head. Always find opportunities to make someone smile and to offer random acts of kindness in everyday life. You cannot protect yourself from sadness without protecting yourself from happiness. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Short history happens in January 1st. The Emancipation Proclamation, which freed enslaved people in the Confederacy. The states in rebellion against the Union during the American Civil War. Was issued by U.S. President Abraham Lincoln.